Howdy folks, welcome back. It's May 19th, 2020. It's been 45 days since the lockdown here in Washington State and the restrictions are easing. Uh, it looks like possibly across the country for the most part, uh, the uh, virus is, uh, is receding, although there are still hot spots and they say it could still come back. So it's not time to relax yet. I did this video uh, today on these three images uh, that I have that you can see here. And uh, I, I decided I wanted to do this because I keep referring back to videos uh, that I've done a while back now. It's been three, four months. And I say, well, based on those videos and this and that. And, and I, I, wanted to, I wanted people to, you know, be able to go to one place to be able to see a video and understand what I'm talking about. But I soon found out that making a one video to replace uh, six or eight other videos to explain what's going on is uh, really pretty hard to do. And uh, so this video has taken all kinds of turns on, on what I wanted it to be. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I still wanted to be able to show a bunch of pictures uh, of explaining what I'm talking about all in one place. So. All of these pictures are different. They're they're not, uh, you know, from one video and then the next video and then the next video. They're from, they're all mixed up because it doesn't really matter. What one butte is the same as the next, and all of these buttes and all of these pictures and these three images, they're all the same. Uh, they are made up of uh, downed vessels. These buttes are entirely made up of down ve vessels, and uh, and so it doesn't matter. So I, I just wanted to take a bunch of good pictures, some interesting pictures, and put them up in one place for people to see. And I, I didn't have a lot to say about all these pictures. I've said a lot of it before, uh, so I put a little music in too. Also, I threw this uh, this little series in right here. It's kind of an unusual picture. Uh, it looked like a kind of like a person there uh, underneath uh, partially underneath something you can see their head it's as if they're looking up and their right arm and the bicep and then their arm sticking out uh, be the right arm and uh, it kind of looked like they had a big ear like a big elf ear or something um, but it, it, you know it's kind of a cool picture and what is next to there I have no idea what that is it looked like uh, some kind of remains of some kind of a creature, but I don't even know if that's true. Anyway, uh, at the end of the day, um, they're far too large to be actual people. So uh, it's just, uh, you know, faces in the clouds. It's something that looks like that, but, but really isn't. In this picture here, you can see the hillside behind silhouette, this big thing. Uh, it's a piece of a vessel. And then you have this uh, little guy looking out up here, whatever that is, sitting in, uh, you know, a cave like what looks like a cave, like a carved out cave. But of course, it's part of a vessel, just like everything that you see here. So everything I'm going to show you, if you have never been to my channel before and seen any of the things that I've been showing, I'm here to tell you that every single thing that you're looking at in these pictures are destroyed vessels. Uh, they, uh, at, and for whatever reason, you know, I mean, we can only assume it was a war or something like that, but everything you see here is destroyed vessels. It's all man-made. And this is the best, probably the best picture of them all to tell you that. You can see by looking at this hillside that it's got all kinds of uh, different uh, st uh, structure and texture. It's obvious that it's not hillside. And then the colorful metallic thing in the background there is a vessel that's sticking out of the middle of the hillside. Uh, this is what you see everywhere you go in all of these pictures. Uh, in this picture here you can see the plating on the sides of the hulls. The sides of the ships, the bottoms, the tops, whatever. It's, you can't always tell. This is a really cool picture here.
you can really see obviously uh, again all the plating that I'm talking about super clear picture And much of what you see it reminds you of uh, if you've ever seen looking at a cruise ship from the side you see these row after row after row of, of uh, dwellings on the side of the ship uh, uh, or even when you see the bridge of a ship it looks very much like what these layers look like a couple of big uh, girders or something sticking out there And in all of these rows, you can see the individual segments. Uh, they are, they may not be straight anymore or anything like that, but uh, there's a lot of them here. And there's so much here, and it's piled up so thick that the, uh, the weight of it and in time, uh, maybe the material becomes uh, crystallized, the metal, whatever. I don't know. Look at the top right. Uh, you see a big opening in that thing up there. You see it coming in from the two three o'clock position. Now look at the uh, look at the top of this thing. This is like a, a superstructure for a ship here, something that came off the ship. And on the top of this thing here, um, you can also see the same exact kind of opening as that one was up in the air. And if you look at all of these uh, rows of, of this uh, whatever of levels, uh, you see, if you think you see shapes in there, you probably did. Look at the top of the hill on it. So all that reflective gold metal. It's amazing. And this is one of the best pictures right here of, uh, of the front end of a triangular craft. It's in the middle of this uh, pile. And it has a very uh, elegant uh, keel along the front, we'll call it that. It slopes down from top to bottom. And again, you can see all the plating, just like you would uh, on a ship. Probably, that's probably the best picture that we have, showing how those triangular vessels are made up. And some of these pictures, they're just interesting. I don't necessarily have anything to say about them because you can tell by looking as, as well as I can. Uh, just some very, you know, pretty pictures actually. Again, more the uh, the ship's hull design with the plating on the outside and whatever it is on top. And right here you can see some things sticking out of the cliff side there, a very elegant shape. Uh, obviously it's not rock. And this is from down below and uh, this is towards the bottom but when we're talking about these bluffs you can't talk about you can't talk about these bluffs without talking about the vessels because the bluffs are made up of the vessels and so we're talking about what's on top and in this picture here and the on top in the back you can see it's a uh, some kind of a vessel that seems to be somewhat hollowed out and coming in from the nine o'clock position is what looks like a conveyor belt and uh, right here in the middle is a decimated small triangular craft. And as far as I can tell folks, triangular crafts are the only kind of crafts they have. Uh, they have airplanes. There are airplanes around. Uh, but uh, mostly it's all triangular, whether they're very small or super huge. And this one here is uh, obviously on the top of the, on the top of the, uh, <coughs> excuse me the top of the bluff and it's been torn open and gutted there's not much left it does still have the turret on it and uh, and what that white thing is sticking out I have no idea and when you think you're looking at just a, another bluff right from a distance it's just another bluff just like here on earth that's not ever what you see when you go in to look closely and this one here is no different uh, it has for us a, a very, uh, I'm not going to say very large, it's definitely large, but we have larger ones to look at of a triangular vessel. And you can easily see the gun turret on the front of it. And, uh, and the, uh, the vessel is broken in half and twisted. 
And if you look towards the left side of the screen, you can see tail fins uh, on this thing. And so I want you to keep in mind, and particularly if you're new to this channel, that yes, this is cool, I see it, but everything that is sitting on is also vessels. It's, it's hard to imagine, really, and that's why I say uh, for me to try and explain this and put it all in one video, it uh, probably didn't work very well. Here's another triangular vessel. It's also uh, decimated, and it also has the uh, 1962 Chevy Impala tail fins on it. And then there's this thing here, which looks like, uh, to me, it looks an awful lot like an ocean-going vessel. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anything in it, but it also appears to be cut in half. And these vessels I'm showing you are some of the larger ones. And uh, in this one right here, uh, it has a hole in it. Yeah, on the left left rear corner you can see right through it and uh, the skin has been torn off the top of this one as well and it shows you uh, what's on the inside that's a uh, that's not your typical cliffside anywhere in the universe uh, certainly no place on earth ever looked like that and the only thing on this area that looks like that is something that's a vessel uh, there's another one up there. It's been broken in half. It's fallen down somewhere. And then this one here, and look at the surrounding hillside there. It's all metal. It's all man-made. There's nothing here that's rock. And right here is a uh, another triangular craft, and it's, uh, it's uneventful. Uh, it's there, not spending a lot of time on it. It gives you an idea how big some of them can get. If you watch my channel at all, you know I'm always looking in the background. And if you want to talk about a big triangular craft, then let's talk about this one here. Now it's sitting there near the base of Mount Sharp. I've done a video, a couple videos on Mount Sharp, explaining that that mountain is completely covered with man-made material. I mean completely covered. I'm not talking about here and there, I'm talking every square inch. That's a lot of coverage. Furthermore, uh, I believe this is what you're going to find through the entire Gale Crater, as is 96 miles across Gale Crater is. And from all the pictures I've seen, once we've gone through the education of learning what's in these three uh, images, these three gigapans, has really educated me a lot and and if you were able to sit down and go through these like I have, uh, it's, it's an amazing education and it does explain a lot. So with all of these buttes, they're all the same, they're all interchangeable, doesn't matter uh, you know what picture comes next, uh, it's all the same thing. But with all the buttes, they're all the same, just like the ones on Earth, is the, they start to deteriorate and uh, erode. Uh, we'll call it a Martian version of erosion. And so, just like on Earth, you know, things start coming down. You see what looks like sand and rocks and that kind of thing piling up. But there is no sand and there is no rocks because there are no sand. There is no sand or rocks. Everything is metal. It'd be like uh, tromping around on, uh, you know, giant piles of Coke cans ripped in half. And other stuff comes down, all kinds of debris. And then you have everything sticking out of the hillsides. This is on the bottom of the hillside. Uh, just more examples of this metallic material and various things that are sticking out. And uh, it's colorful. Uh, you know, we see a lot of this gold and silver. This is also down towards the bottom of uh, one of these buttes. And you can very clearly see that these are not rocks. And this is at the bottom, okay? So, uh, it just goes to show, top to bottom, that's what you have. And here we have this uh, large rectangular area of, of uh, this metal debris. Uh, and look in the background there, guys. I'm not going to get into it this time, but 
There's quite interesting things to see in the background in this picture. But as usually as far as you can see, here's a, all sorts of this gold metal debris, uh, just like this stuff right here. Uh, it stretches out in every direction. And I'll tell you something else, folks. If Gale Crater is 96 miles across and then the entire thing is covered with this metallic debris, then I'm here to tell you this sand is also metallic. Look at this reflective material. It's so bright you can't even tone it down. So the, the sand would come from whatever's in the surrounding area, and the surrounding area is nothing but metal. Look at that. So over the many millions of years, here's an aircraft uh, that has two uh, canard wings. This is an aircraft that never gets out of the atmosphere. In other words, it's not a spacecraft, it's an aircraft. Uh, the remains of one, anyway. And if you look at this picture here, you can see sort of a triangular design. And if you think you're seeing a triangle, you are. That's just the way it is. But what's on top of these hills or these buttes is, is also very interesting and everything that we see on top of these buttes was the last thing to come down. Look at all that metal. Look at that. It looks like tinsel in a way, doesn't it? And it covers the entire surfaces of these buttes because of course there's nothing here but metal. How about a couple missiles for you? Sad to think that they had missiles, but uh, for all their missiles, and they had a lot of them, it uh, didn't make a bit of difference because they died. They never got to send those missiles off. There's a ship up there to the right with a big engine on the back of it. And another vessel that's come down that's been destroyed. So everything is pretty much in uh, a state of either completely wrecked or maybe still kind of intact. Uh, you never know what you're going to see. Here's another triangular vessel, skin ripped off of it, uh, exhibiting everything that's on the inside, whatever it is. And right here, this thing here looks to me just like the entrance to hell. I mean, is that a scary looking entrance right there? It looks like a sideways mouth with really scary teeth. I would never go in there. That is a seriously scary looking place right there. And this looks like sand here, doesn't it? There's a vessel there in the background. In all this dark area, which looks like sand, you can see the, the lines in it, this, the, the strips that I've talked about in the past, the uh, metal strips or the metal panels that make up the hull. In this case, that's come down. There's no particular order that things came down in. They, uh, uh, but rest assured, a lot came down. In fact, so much stuff and so many vessels, there must have been many thousands of them, many, many thousands of them. Because uh, as I said, and I will continue to say, they appear to cover the entire Gale Crater, 96 miles across. Here's uh, the front of, a, of another uh, triangular craft, just the front of it. And I had to throw this picture in. This is uh, Mom's Ford Aerostar minivan got up there somehow or another. But they were definitely flying planes around during this time. And there have been a number of uh, instances where I've seen uh, planes. This is the very best one. Some of them are easier to tell than others. Uh, but without a doubt they were flying planes and not everything was leaving the atmosphere. This is just a beautiful picture here. Uh, you get a good 
good shot of, uh, of this exposed metal on the top. Uh, a lot of silver and gold, kind of bluish. And look at these missiles down in front coming up from the 6 o'clock position. You see them? More missiles. And actually there's quite a few missiles mixed in all of this right here. But uh, just gives you another example of the fact that they didn't get to fire them. I don't know where they were supposed to go, but they didn't go anywhere. And there are many instances of missiles and aircraft sticking out of the cliff sides like this. And pretty much everything that you can imagine sticking out of a cliff side is sticking out. Here's the hull of another ship. Partial hull. Whole hull. I don't know. And another area that uh, goes way back. Just completely covered with, uh, with metal debris. I think if you tried to walk around on top of this stuff, you would break through. It probably uh, probably wouldn't wouldn't make it. Now this little triangle down in the front here, this is the front end front piece of a front of a uh, of a triangular craft, and it still has a uh, a gun turret on it. You see it right there in dead center. And right here, you just can see a little bit more of what it looks like to have uh, this uh, metallic material just under the surface of that metallic sand. I know it sounds crazy, everybody. I know it sounds crazy. Here's another uh, unspectacular triangular craft on top. Uh, just a lot of debris to look at there. That's all. Nothing special. Can't figure out most of this stuff. This looks an awful lot like a uh, uh, like a statue of a face looking up in the sky. And uh, while it does look a lot like that, I don't think that's what that really is. Everything you see in gold here and silver, this is all metallic. Um, here's a part of a vessel that was just had a big hole ripped into it all ragged and folks not that long ago well actually quite a while ago there were people walking around on the inside of that thing there were a lot of people here they all died I think this thing up here is just a piece of debris it just happens to look like some kind of a bug it's quite large piece of a vessel sitting on top of another piece of vessel. This looks like the bridge of a vessel and uh, no idea what the thing on the left is. It's just debris of some kind and uh, it's impossible to know what it is. More missiles sticking out. There's some uh, vessels in here as well as in aircraft. Same thing here. Missiles and aircraft sticking out. I think I'd like to crawl out on the end of that thing and jump up and down on it. <laughs> Not. Folks, thanks for watching. Wait till you see the next video. You're going to be amazed. It's incredible. Take care.